Hey everyone, it's Teresa. And today I'm gonna give you an eye look using my Anastasia Prism Palette. And it's really easy, really quick. Um, I use this like neutral shade close to my skin tone right here. And that is in the color Unity. I put that all over my eyelid, just dabbing it in first and then kind of swiping it away. And I do that to both eyes. You know, this look is super quick and easy and I feel like anybody could do it. There it goes, swishing away. Next, I pick up my Maybelline New York um, vanilla color. And this is like kind of shimmery and I just put this on my brow bones and on my inner corner of my eyes. I love this stuff. This again is for like kind of setting purpose. Um, so that way when I really put my highlight there, it like really sticks and shines through. I love it. Next, I pick up my palette again. And like I said, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I use the color Parallel. And I just dab that across my entire eyelid. And just on the lid. You don't need to blend it out. You know, just put it there. I know a lot of people work in the crease first and then their way down, but for this look, to make it easier, it's just dab, 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 and then blend in the end. So, no worries if it's not right, you know, Leo. <laughs> It'll get there. Next, I'm using the pinky shade in the very corner, and that's in the color Lure. And I rub that across the crease. And then after I just do a little swish, then I'll like dab more product in and work my way towards the parallel color that I just put on my lid. And I do that for both eyes. And I am left-handed, so I feel like I work lighter on the right side of my face. So it takes a little longer, but you know, struggles. <laughs> And I just keep repeating this process till I get it kind of blended out to my liking. You know, make it go up. Because I have hooded eyes, so they're really small little Mexican eyes. <laughs> um, so, you know, just take your time if you need to, but it does not have to be perfect. And then I use the same palette. That's why I love it, because it's all, everything's here. And I use Obsidian. And I use just a flat eyeshadow brush and I just kind of touch the outer corner of my eyes and kind of line up where I want it to be. Um, this color is super pigmented, so I literally just dabbed it once and blend the shit out of it. Excuse my language. Next, go back to Parallel and work that a little bit into the crease to blend out Obsidian and just work it back and forth. And that gives it a little dimension, a little, you know, more interesting, something to look at. Now this is my favorite shade in the palette. It's Eternal. And oh my gosh, look, this is not even applying it wet. It's literally dry, just putting it onto my eyelid. Towards the inner corner, but not necessarily the inner corner, like right in the middle of your eyelid. And then just kind of slightly buff it out, but not really. I just want to focus it more in the middle of the eye. The brush I'm using is my absolute fave. I got it in an Ipsy bag and I fell in love. It's a Luxie 239 Precision sh Shader. And then here I went back into the lure color and I'm running that across my 
crease right above the crease actually and just kind of buff it out and play with it a little bit make sure there's no patches then I went in and grabbed parallel with the same flat eyeshadow brush and tapped over obsidian a little bit because I felt like it was just too dark so this kind of lightens it up and makes it easier makes it look more professional I guess once the look is done There we go, just checking it out. Now, since I'm okay with the actual shadow, I will go underneath and clean it up with some concealer. The concealer I am using is a Revlon Color Stay Concealer in O2 Light Pale. Using the end of my Beauty Blender to just finish up the line here. Just clean it up. And then once I cleaned it up, I noticed that some of the shadow doesn't, didn't hit the actual line where I wanted it to lay. So I just lightly tap into the color that I need. I think I used a lure in that one. Lure, not a lure, excuse me. And just kind of brushed it in a little bit right over it to make it even. And doing the same to the other eye. And I really like having the clean edge because it's easier to put my eyeliner on. <laughs> and they're doing the same to this side. And then I also didn't even need to tap back into the product. I used the same product that was on the ends of my brush. That brush is the one that comes with the palette, and I love it. Here I am setting the look with the infallible powder here. Um, Pro Glow, it's called. I'm just dabbing it all over, setting my face. And a little bit goes a long way with this product, so I love it. Next, I'm going to do my contouring and my shading with Kat Von D's wow. um, shade in light. I actually got these little gold brushes on eBay. I fell in love with them. I ordered like three sets. <laughs> Here we go, just contouring the sides of my face. I put a little bit on the tip of my nose, but not too much. Today I didn't go like super deep with the contouring, it's just kind of light. Kind of bronzed myself up a little bit. Next, this is my like ultimate eyebrow pencil. Oh my god, it's called Brow Stylist Definer. And this is by L'Oreal Paris. And this is in dark brown. Or dark brunette, excuse me. I love it. The pencil is so tiny. And then it has a brush on the opposite end. Oh my god, girl. I live for the brush. Do my thing, brushing it out, making sure it looks as even as possible.
to clean up my brow i use the same concealer i used from before and i just run that across the top of my eyebrows and down my nose again you know just get that retouch here i picked up my beauty blender and then i'm like you know what no let me use my brush and this brush is by elf and it's a pointed foundation brush i love it for those tiny areas that you just want to blend out but you don't want to mess up anything around it it's my favorite and it's like inexpensive it's only like three dollars i think deal girl and without picking up more product i used the same brush that i had the infallible glow powder This is my Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics. I love the blush that's in this palette. Um, it also has like a contouring shade with two highlighters, but I didn't really need them. I have, instead of using the highlighter that's in the palette, I'm using but, um, Born to Glow by NYX. And I just get like a little round brush, and that brush is a contour brush by Real Techniques. I got it for Christmas, hey. I'm just highlighting the face. 